One of our mountain towns is trying to walk a tightrope when it comes to housing and short-term rentals. Our mountain newsroom reporter, Spencer Wilson, on the story. Spencer Frisco just put in its first cap ever on those short-term rental licenses. Jim, they said that they've heard the complaints town council has about the trash, the parking, and of course the noise that comes from some of these homes that are being rented as Airbnbs or Verbos. But they also know that that's part of what keeps the economy here spinning. So they're trying to find that perfect sweet spot. Starting next Monday, there will only be allowed 900 short-term rentals in Frisco. That's 25% of the housing stock. It's a number just slightly higher than the total existing number of short-term rental licenses because uh, we're kind of at a breaking point right now where we're starting to feel the effects and council wanted to do something about that. Cook says the complaints are pretty consistent. It's great when you move into a home in Frisco and your next door neighbor actually lives here full time. When they don't live here in a short-term rental property and they're partying in the hot tub at 2 a.m., that can be pretty difficult getting up for work in the morning. There's around 825 rental licenses right now, so there's a little room for growth, but not much more. And the town isn't trying to pretend it's not tourism-driven. They just want to keep things in control. We do acknowledge the positive economic impacts of short-term rentals. We're not talking about getting rid of them altogether. We're just talking about balance. Now, another reason they came up with that 900 number for licenses is they didn't want to have to take any away from people. They thought that'd be messy trying to decide who suddenly doesn't have a short-term rental license. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.